Hi guys, Siegfried11 here. So, a few days ago, I bought Minecraft Java Edition, and it's a really fun game. But I thought one of the things I should try is the servers, because it is one of the things Java is known for. And what better server on Java than Hypixel? Now I'm hoping on going through every single game on Hypixel and seeing how they are. And if it works out, and if this series is fun, I will do that. But anyways, to start off with this first video, we will be looking at survival games. Welcome to the Hypixel experience. Also, I'm sorry, I forgot to add game sound, but I might add a few sound effects in there anyways. So the game started off with me running right to the middle of the chest, deciding I didn't like it there, and proceeded to run away. Seems like running away will be a good concept in this playthrough. It's now when I figured out that this video was going to be sponsored by Microsoft PowerPoint. Because it would be very difficult for my NASA space computer to handle OBS and Minecraft at full settings at the same time. It was now when I started to head across to the very big castle. Because I don't know about you guys, but to me, big castles mean big loot. What I did not consider is that other people could have had the same ideas earlier on the game. So I decided to wait till a chest refill to go in. While in the castle, I got some armor that I don't care about, some arrows, and a pair of iron boots, and then I went out in my very way. This is gonna be a good game. But this was no time to mess around. I needed to eat my golden apple quick because the deathmatch was almost starting. And tell me, I was gonna win this deathmatch. Now it was really time to fight. I found a person tried axing them, but turns out I wasn't paying attention to the timer on the deathmatch. I couldn't fight them yet. They started bowing me a bit, and I just kind of hit around because you can't blow me. But anyways, I hit them with the axe repeatedly and I kept axing them until I was low and I ran away. And then I tried pathetically fishing riding them and throwing potions at them before I was dead. This was unacceptable. I was supposed to win that game. So I ran away from the chest in the middle and tried climbing up a mountain. I found a chest and like, it's pretty nice as some leggings as bottles and chain. What? Oh crap, who's hitting me? Damn it. Knowing my destiny of the past two ones? I just ran away from the chest again in the start. I mean, it wasn't causing me any harm. I thought it'd be cool to check on mid. I mean, some people might be dead and I might find good loot and oh no, that person's there. I better run away so they don't get killed. Oh my god. Is, is there, are they still chasing me? Yeah, thank gosh. I was scared for a second. I was very lucky. But here's my chance in this house. I saw a gamer tag up top, and I thought that I would ambush them. Let's be quiet now. Sneak up the stairs and... Oh, not go up the stairs and sneak up the stairs. And, oh, it's just a... It's just a death message. The house was useless, but this village wasn't. Until I found a man there and started chasing me. My quick instinct slotted me for the end of this bridge, but tell me, it wasn't going anywhere, so I had to quickly run away from this person to avoid getting pushed against a wall. Running up to mid, I was actually thinking I was going to get away, circling around them, but they kept hitting me with their axe. This was terrible. I was going to die again. Anyways, if I just kept running, I could kick up this loot, find a spot to hide, and put it up, but instead they got to me first. But an idea sparked in my head. What if I tried teams? Someone else could carry me to victory. I looked around at my teammates and noticed they were just as dream. This is perfect. Anyone just as dream would have the same skills as dream. Oh. So here I was in a doubles game with no teammate. I found my first victim and I started hitting them with my sword over and over again. And this would be the longest sword fight I have ever had. It went on for quite a while, and then I eventually beat them. But their teammate was also there. I tried my best, but my diamond axe was no match for them. I looked around, and my teammate was named Ninjax25, and with a name like that, you know we were gonna win the game. Me and Ninjax started going off this one guy. Ninjax did all the work, and I just kinda threw my fishing around like some kinda maniac. After we killed the guy, I looked around and I was getting attacked. Ninjax betrayed me because he was nowhere to be found. I tried my best, but I died. I looked around for my partner for this next game and it was Ninjax. Oh, yay. Well, he probably thought the same thing about me considering I died. Well, at a house, Ninjax gave me a severed head. And like any normal person, I proceeded to put it on. 
Me and Ninjax then fell upon a bloody duel. And, like always, we were the recipients of the death. Looking around for this game, my partner was thankfully not Ninjax. He pointed towards the end of a cliff, and I decided, ah, I'll follow him. What's the worst that can happen? We then both proceeded to participate in cliff jumping, luckily falling in water to save our fall. Although I'm not sure how that works in real life. We actually seem pretty stacked this time, and I even brought a couple friends along. Who doesn't love mushrooms? However, even my mushrooms weren't able to defend from this fight, and I ended up dying. But there's still one more game on left, and the point of playing every game on Hypixel is to play every game on Hypixel. I wonder what it could be, a whole new type of survival games? Oh boy, I can't wait. Oh, it's just a new version of Duels. How original. <laughs>